So Paul, a tough, always a tough trip here to Dergview. We've picked up the win, 3-2 win over Dergview. After last week, that's a confidence boost for the lads. Yeah, it is. You know, last week I thought we worked really, really hard and we played really well. Um, and at the end of the game, to, to make two mistakes and, and give two goals away was absolutely gutting for the players. Uh, it, it has been one of those weeks where we've assessed that and we've looked at trying to cut mistakes out. And, and today, you know, there, there were also mistakes there that the boys have held their hands up and, and said we, we've had to work really, really hard today to make sure we got something out of it. But started really well, got the goal early. Um, frustrating, disappointing to, to concede the way we did, but to come back out and to do it all over again into that wind and rain at, at one point. Uh, yeah, good, good to see to get the, to get the final result at the end of it. As last week, it was the last 10 minutes of the game ultimately was our downfall. Today, is it a confidence thing with the lads or is it just building upon the team, new team and working together? Yeah, I mean, it's we've said consistently, it's a new group and you're, and you're trying to keep them together and you're trying to build on, on what they've got and, and use the, the strength that they have. Uh, there's young lads in there and, and as we all know, you know, you get inconsistencies with that. With the older players, as the game goes on and as the season goes on, they're, they're getting tired and they're, they're working really, really hard to keep themselves at it. Uh, so yeah, as games go on, it's about concentration and, and we've just got to make sure we keep on working on our concentration and making sure we don't make mistakes. And probably the big plus of the day, your first hat trick under your tenure, was good for the lad to get the three today. Oh, absolutely delighted for him. Uh, you know, he's come in from 20s football and he's known from day one that men's football is an entirely different game. Uh, we've been working so hard with him and, and I love him for his, his work rate and his honesty. Um, and today, I think he just got the rewards for that because the last three, four weeks, he has just run himself into the ground for 90 minutes after 90 minutes. And today, uh, the things fell for him in the right places. He found himself in the right place. His third goal for me just summed up. He, he backed his body and he took the ball down and he's lashed it into the net. Really fantastic, great kid and uh, I'm, I'm delighted for him. And next up, Ards, fighting for top six themselves. We're safe top six now going into the split. All to play for, you know, you looked at the league for the last couple of weeks as you lose a game, you think, oh, that's it over. Warm point today, drop points. It's really all play for still. It is absolutely, uh, and and we consistently say let's forget about everything else that's going on around us. Let's just try and win games. And unfortunately, our consistency has been poor. It's been win loss, win loss, win loss uh, over the last seven, maybe even eight games. So uh, for us, next week is is as much about getting our own consistency uh, as it is about trying to make sure that we match whatever Arge put out on the table uh, and making sure we just go and work as hard as we possibly can. Uh, you know this league. You know that everybody can beat everybody. Uh, Arge, I believe, have got a good result today as well. Uh, uh, so we've just got to go out, do our preparations and make sure that we do everything we possibly can for 90 minutes next week and hopefully it gets us over the line again.